before you submit your application to be considered for admission into any university or college, there is a required amount of money to be paid. This is called the application fee. This fee may range from sometimes $20 to like $150. Now, if you convert it into your, your local currency, that is a lot of money. Now, unfortunately, sometimes the means of payment, either bank wire transfer, PayPal, credit card, Visa, or MasterCard may not be available in your home country. So how then do you apply to these universities? Well, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how you can apply to any university for free. Being a victim of this circumstance, I believe that application fee should not kill your dream of going into your desired program or your dream university. In this video, I'm going to show you how as an international applicant or even if a domestic student, you can gain an application waiver to any university that you intend to apply to. If an application fee is a hindrance to you as an international applicant, then you have to watch this video. Hi, my name is Frederick. I am currently studying Masters in Public Administration at the University of Kentucky. The first step to applying to college abroad could be expensive, especially if you are applying to three or more schools. In the next couple of minutes, I'm going to give you the ultimate guide that could save you some money. If an application fee is a headache for you as a prospective international student, then this video was made for you. When applying for universities abroad, in order to increase your chances, you have to have one, what I call dream university, two, universities within your reach, and three, what I classify as safety net. Now this explains the reason why most international applicants apply to a lot of schools, just to broaden their chances of gaining admission. Now doing this may be expensive, so getting some schools to waive your application fee for you would be great. So this video is into two parts. In the first part, I'm going to give you five different strategies that you can use to get an application fee waived into any college or university that you intend to apply to. In the second part of the video, I'm going to share more than 30 universities and colleges in the United States that are currently waiving the application fee for international applicants. In the YouTube video description, I have created a Google document that you can find the names and the website for all these universities and how you can get the application fee waived. As time goes on, I'll be updating. So just in case you're watching this video in 2026, there are still some schools in the document to apply for free. Just check the YouTube video description, click on the document, and you would have some schools waiving the application fees that you may be able to apply for free. Now talking about free, it is actually free to subscribe to this channel, click on the notification bell, and also share this video with your friends and family. I would appreciate it if you share your thoughts and comment with me in the YouTube comment section. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Now, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's begin with the strategies to get an application fee waived for any university you want to apply to. The first one is to attend webinars and open house meetings. In order to expose the cost structure and the research work of every department in most universities in the US to prospective applicants, every now and then, department and sometimes the graduate college of, of various universities organize webinars, seminars, and also open house meetings. Now, they mostly invite prospective applicants to attend these meetings either in person, that is if you're in the United States, or online that if you're outside the United States or a prospective international applicant. Now what happens is that as an incentive for people to attend these webinars and meetings, they give out application fee waiver codes that prospective students or students who are interested after attending the webinar could use to apply for free. Now if you intend to apply to fall 2020 or any time that you, you intend to apply, you can quickly check the department website or the graduate college website of the specific university you want to apply to. They sometimes have timelines that they organize these webinars so that you can attend for free and then you, you as an incentive or as a reward, you get an application waiver and you can apply to this programs or universities for free. Due to time differences across the globe, most universities in the US 
who had organized the webinar at an ungodly time in your home country. However, remember, it is better to sacrifice a sleep for like a $95 application fee, which could eventually gain you an admission into your dream program or dream university. Now, the second one is application fee waiver code. Most colleges, departments, and universities provide an application fee waiver code, which you can type into the application portal before you submit. This will waive the application fee for you so that you can apply to the university for free. Sometimes these waiver codes are given within a shorter period. They sometimes advertise it on the social media platform of the department, the college, or the university. You can also check their various websites. These waiver codes could be general or program specific or sometimes college specific. So depending on which university you're applying to, you need to check the waiver code to be sure of what you are using. Now the third point is that sometimes you can postpone the application fee until you have gained admission into the program or the university. Now they would opt to apply this application fee to your student account once you have enrolled in classes and you have started schooling. A lot of colleges provide this option and I feel that if you don't gain admission it means that you don't pay this application fee. And sometimes if you have a scholarship and you gain admission into the program the scholarship will cover this application fee which means that you end up gaining admission without paying any application fee. You may need to check with the program, the college to know if this option is available. Number four, check for the application fee waiver criteria in the university or department you want to apply now, to. Now, if you visit the website of the university or the department in which you intend to apply to, they have a criteria that if you qualify, you can get application fee waived. Sometimes just being a first generation student could get you an application fee waiver. Also, if you have an exceptional CGP, you can get an application fee waiver. Oops. Prospective students from certain parts of the world qualify for application fee waivers. So if you are from Africa or Asia, you could qualify for an application fee waiver simply because of the country you are coming from. So simply checking the criteria for an application fee waiver could save you a lot of dollars. I'm very excited about the fifth point. Sometimes I tell people that all you need to do is ask and do that appropriately. So sometimes all you need to get an application fee waiver is to ask. Mostly application fee waivers are available, but they are limited. So what um, most departments and universities do is that, is that they wait for in prospective students to send them an email. So what you have to do is that in order to get an application fee waiver, you can email the department in which you want to apply to. So you can talk to the director of the program via email or email the graduate college or graduate admissions or undergraduate admissions office in the specific school you want to apply to. So these are the two specific offices that you want to target. You can send a lot of emails that will be considered as spam. So mostly the best person to talk to will be the director of the program in which you want to apply to. So all you need to do is to draft an email explaining the reason why you need an application fee waiver. This could be an economic reason. The department or the university may consider you for an application fee waiver if you're able to express a financial need or personal hardship or economic or political hardship. Sometimes you may be asked to upload a document to explain the reason for your request. Some universities or departments may also send you an application fee waiver request form which you can complete and email it back to the university. Then the fee would be waived for you if you are lucky. I believe if you follow any or all of these five strategies, you could get an application fee waived to any university or college you intend to apply as an international student. This would help you achieve your dream of pursuing the program of choice or into the university that you have always been dreaming of. It doesn't matter the admission period that you are considering, either the summer, the fall semester, or the spring. Yeah. There is always a university that you can apply for free. So I'm going to share with you the universities that are waiving application fees that you could apply for free if you intend to submit your application for fall 2022. Shout outs to my brother, Kingsford Onyina. He has already shared some universities and colleges that are waiving the application fee for fall 2022 in the US. I'll share a link to the YouTube video 
kindly check that out now i'm going to add more universities and colleges and i'll be updating the, the video we are going to actually go through some universities that are waiving the application fee for fall 2022 and just like i said you don't have to worry if you are checking this video out in somewhere 2026 i'll be updating this document you can find this google document at the youtube video description just click on it and then you can explore all the universities that are applying that and then you can explore all the universities that are waiving the application fees that you can apply for free so quickly let's check them out the first university is western oregon university western oregon university of course is located in oregon um, and then they are waiving the application fee which is 60 dollar application fee from january 1st to january 15th um, 2022 so you have to be quick if you want to get this waiver that is the 60 dollar waiver for western oregon university it's for only the graduate programs let's look at the next one which is western carolina university um, western carolina university is also located in um, North Carolina and the application fee is being waived for the spring summer and fall 2022 entry term so it has a long span and so you have a long time if you want to get this waiver or apply to Western Carolina University for free the next university is College of Charleston the College of Charleston is also located in um charleston in south carolina and then you can also use the waiver code u c s c o p n w v r 2022 to get the application fee waiver for um, university of charleston which is located in south carolina Remember, there is also another University of Charleston, which is located in West Virginia, but this University of Charleston is located in South Carolina. So check out the difference. The next school is Brandes University. For Brandes University, you have to use a waiver code to get the application fee waiver. Um, this, fee is, this waiver code is only given to students from developing countries so if you are from a developing country you can apply to brandes university for free brandes university is also um, located in waltham the next university is the american university american university is located in washington dc and you can use the waiver code ksb webinar that is if you're applying to the school of business this waiver code is only for the school of business in american universities subsequently there, there's going to be other webinars and open house for other colleges in american university that you can get their hundred dollar application fee waived that is apply for free moving on to the next university the next university is university of delaware university of delaware is of course located in um, delaware newark and you can get an application fee waiver if you finish with the entire application so if you go to the application portal and when you are about to submit your application there is an option for you to type a code that that is opportunity if you type opportunity the application fee will be waived for you and you can easily submit your application to university of delaware northern arizona is the next one for northern arizona for some years now about two or three years now they've been waiving the application fee and the waiver code um has almost been the same it's just the matter of changing the year at the end of it so you use the hashtag nau grad 2022 that is if you want to apply to their graduate programs in northern arizona for free the waiver code is hashtag nau grad22 that is nau northern arizona university grad 2022 with a hashtag 
the next university that you can apply for free is Loras College. Loras College accepts no fees and there is no essay, so it, there is no hassle. That is what is indicated on their website. And Loras College is a Catholic liberal arts college, which is located in Iowa. So you can apply to Loras College for free. The next university will be Colby College. Colby College can, if you are applying for undergraduate program, you can apply to Colby College for free. Quickly, Barry University is also waiving the application fee. So in case you want to apply to any of the undergrad programs or graduate programs in Barry University, you can equally apply to that, that as well for free. Moving on, um, the next university is Roanoke College. You can apply to this university for free. The university as that we'll be checking out is Concord University. So Concord University is, is located in Athens, West Virginia. Now, because I don't want this video to be very long already, it's more than 17 minutes. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to share the rest of the universities that are waiving the application fee in a Google document, and I'll share the link in the YouTube video description. So at any point in time, you can check out all the other universities that are waiving the application fee. And I'll be updating this document from time to time. So notwithstanding what time you're checking out this video, whether in 2022, 2023, 2024, or maybe 2026, I will still be updating this document. So there's always a university to apply for free. Now the secret is that there are three categories of universities in the U.S. There is a public funded university, there is a private non-profit university, and there is a private profit university. So the secret is that most of the pri private universities either being private non-profit or the private profit universities mostly have free application. The reason is to uh, get more people to apply to their university. So if you are checking this video out in somewhere 2027, don't worry. Just go to the document which is shared in the YouTube video description. I'm going to update this document every time. I am glad you were able to make it to the end of this video. I hope this video has been educative and informative. Kindly subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll be notified and you can quickly check it out. Also, share this video to your friends and family. I would appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. And kindly share with me in the comment section what you want me to talk about in the next video. Remember, you need the right information in your quest to study abroad. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Fred. I'm an international student studying Masters in Public Administration at the University of Kentucky. I serve as a research assistant for the Kentucky Transportation Center as well. As always, Thank you for watching this video. This has been the Fred Effect.